Now all new tonight at 11 o'clock haunted houses are raking in the cash on this beautiful fall night, but one Connecticut business feared a controversy could scare away customers. Channel 3's Roger Suzanne joins us now live in Waterbury to explain why the problem was actually outside the doors of the haunted house. Roger. Well, Aaron, you know, the nightmare on Wolcott Street is still open right now, but the cause of all this controversy, again, as you mentioned, has nothing to do with anything going on inside this haunted house. No, instead, it all stems from these two statues, which right now are covered in plastic at the request of the mayor's office. The nightmare on Wolcott Street has been serving up scary good times in Waterbury for the last seven years. It's awesome. Every year, it's awesome. The funnest part about it is the spinning part, like when you go on the bridge and it starts spitting. Co-owners Renee Dearborn and Mike Anderson are the creators of the chaos. Love scaring kids and people. That's, that's the best part of it. But a recent controversy threatened to scare away business. This photo that appeared in the Waterbury Republican American shows two statues of the Virgin Mary that sit on Anderson's property. Some critics feel the statues being so close to a haunted house is disrespectful. Then I read the paper and I was like, are you, are you kidding me? It was just crazy. It was, it was like, this got blown way out of proportion. But Anderson and Dearborn didn't want to offend any of their neighbors. So at the suggestion of the mayor's office, they wrapped the statues in opaque plastic. They'll stay this way until the business owners eventually use the statues, which have no role in the haunted house, in a nativity scene. I couldn't believe that someone would think that we were, because we are Catholic, that they would even present that we would do anything, you know, like this with, you know, our Blessed Mother, that it's, it's, it was unbelievable. Dearborn and Anderson have apologized for upsetting anyone, but most people seem satisfied with the new solution. And in the end, the controversy didn't hurt business. In fact, sales have gone up since the photo was published. They apologize for anybody who they might have offended, and, uh, you know, that's enough for me. And by the way, you might have noticed that Renee Dearborn was in full costume. Well, that's because she is working tonight. And by the way, Anderson points out that even though his haunted house is located very close to the statues, the statues themselves are actually located on the property of another business which his family also owns. Reporting live tonight in Waterbury, I'm Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.